Hey guys, um, I was sitting here watching videos from this group called The Happy Hangout. It's a paid Facebook group led by several diamond leaders. It's just really inspiring. And um, I'm taking some notes. There was a video on seven ways to boost OGV. And I want this video to be short, so I'm just gonna do three, and then tomorrow I'll do two more, and the next day I'll do two more. Um, so three ways to boost OGV. For those of you who are new, that's organi uh, organizational group volume. Basically, OGV will, you know, be dependent, your paycheck will be dependent on your OGV. And the number of people you're helping and the amount of products they're getting will, is your OGV. So three things that you can do to boost your OGV. And you guys, you can do these, some of them you can do every single day. Some you can do, you know, every month. Number one, check in with your members. And we talk about this a lot. When you do Operation Silver Boot Camp, you will hear this a lot. Care calls is what they're called, but it could be texting or private messaging, you know, seeing someone at the grocery store, however you interact with your members, checking in on them. It is vitally important that you check in on your members. Your new members, um, now when you have a thousand members or 2000 members, there's no, even enroll in people that you've enrolled, we don't have that many, but like let's say you have 500 people you've enrolled, there's no way you can text 500 people a month, it's impossible. Eventually when people are members for a longer period of time, of course you're not gonna be checking in with them as often. But support is key. Ask them open-ended questions. Um, I always, to actually this, I was inspired by this because usually when I text or call someone and leave a message because they never answer the phone, you know, hi, it's Tamara from your leadership support team, or if I know them, you know, hi, it's Tamara. Um, just calling to see how you're liking your oils, how was your, what was in your last essential rewards order, you know, something like that. Um, what are you loving is a question to ask. What are you not loving? What have you not opened yet? Um, what do you need help with? How can I serve you? Care calling, checking in. This is where Oily Tools is a great, great, great app. I hear so much, but I don't have time. How do I do this part-time? Because most of us are working this business very, very part-time. I use my Oily Tools app. I sit in the parking lot 10 minutes before Tyler's singing lesson, text, 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 text. You could even put a little message in your notes section of your phone, copy, paste, tweak it, right, to make it personalized, um, but to, to make it more efficient. So number one, care call, check in with your members. Number two, and I do this, but I don't do this regularly, and where Kelly and I are going to start, um, check every single day. Now, if you have one member who's on ER, you're not gonna do this, but if you, even if you have 20 people that are on Essential Rewards, check on Essential Rewards order every single day. Go into your virtual office. You can, depending on the size of your team, you can search for the auto ship date. I usually just click the auto ship column and it sorts it in date order, so like the 31st down, and you can do it again, I'll do the first down. Every single day, before their EOR, EOR so let's say today is the what, the 20th? So if I was doing this today, I would be looking at the 20th, because they won't process till late tonight. Hover over those little squares, and you will see what is in their cart, um, 55 PV, 172 PV, whatever. If they are your enrollees, message them. Hey, I just happened to notice your ER order is playing tonight. You are 10 PV points below the 190 promo. You know, you're six points below the 100 PV promo, whatever. If it's 240, I would reach out to them and be like, hey, I know 60 is a lot to spend, but you're gonna get the 300 PV promo. Check it every single day. I have always checked it the day after, which actually now watching this video that I did today, that's stupid, and then I would be like, call customer service. Well, what a hassle. Now they have to call customer service and add something to their order. Um, Kelly and I are gonna start every day, so today the 20th, and, and what if we had not enrolled them? Okay, what if it's, you know, Judy's on this video? What if it's Judy's enrollee? I would text Judy, hey Judy, Jane Doe has 97 PV in her ER order, you may want to reach out to them. Put it on your leaders or your business builders, even if someone has one or two members under them, that will teach them what they should be doing. So unless it's someone who is adamantly like not building the business or has checked out and moved away and is never responding to anything, I would reach out to that enroller and give them that instruction. They're going to duplicate what you do. Um, so they'll now do that and then their people will do that as they grow their teams. 
I think that's hugely, hugely important. And don't worry about being annoying. You are serving and blessing them. You're not begging them to buy more products. You're just saying, hey, did you know you were five away from the 100, you're five away from the 100 PV promo. I find most people do not know. They just either place their, you know, in their order real quick, or they thought they were gonna add something and they forgot, or they didn't even know about the promos. You guys, we I've had members that are members for two and a half years that order every single month, they're on Essential Rewards, in the Facebook group, da 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 da. There's promos every month. We, it's not as important to them as it is to some of us. So check on the ER orders before they process. They always process late at night. So the 20th is today, and that will process late tonight. Um, and then reach out to the enrollers. Don't do the enrollers work for them. Reach out to the enrollers and put the ball in their court. So number one was check in with your members. Number two, ER orders every day. Number three, incentives. And you see Kelly and I do incentives a lot. Um, it could be for anything, right? Signing somebody up, getting on essential rewards, spending whatever amount, whatever. You can do incentives for your team. You do not have to have your own Facebook group to do your own incentives. I encourage you to A, share our incentives with your people because anything we promote in the Facebook group is open to our whole downline. So if we have, right now we have like the Ninja Red Raffle, share that with your people. And also think about something fun and simple for your to, for you to do if you want to. Um, uh, some of the strategies, you know, could be keeping it consistent every single month. Anyone that signs someone up gets a thing or gets entered into a raffle, or it could be anyone who spends 300 PV gets an orb diffuser, or it could be anyone who tries a new product and posts a video about it. Make people do things and jump through hoops. It makes it more fun and interactive. Um, so anyway, incentives. There are so many ways to do that. You can look at our incentives. Um, you know, Stephanie Morham and her group does a lot of incentives. Feel free, copy it, tweak it. You see we try the first five stuff a lot. Um, do that with your team also. And for those of you just starting, you can offer a time sensitive promotion to people who are on the fence with getting the kit. Um, I'm gonna order, offer one next week in between Christmas and New Year's. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but people who I know are interested but haven't joined yet, I'm gonna be like, hey, if you get started before New Year's Eve, you are going to get this thing, whatever, the orb diffuser, something, I don't know. Um, it will be an incentive. Incentives can be fun. Don't make them overly confusing. Um, keep them simple. They don't have to be expensive. It could be a 10 drop sample of blah, something. I don't know, it could be bath salts. If you're just starting, it could be something that costs 10 cents. It's the fun of it. It's, it's letting your people know that you're into them and you're loving on them. They will feel loved, they will learn, and most importantly, they will duplicate what you do when they sign people up. This whole business is about duplication. You want people to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So if I, we duplicate things that Stephanie and Lindsay and all of our leaders do, we really hope you guys are duplicating what we do. And we're always learning new things. Like I learned these three things today in a video and I was dying to share with you. Um, there are four other ways to boost OGV and I'm going to save those for another video another day, um, probably tomorrow. Um, although I really want to share them. They're all right here, but I'm going to wait. So have a good rest of your night, and why don't you try that? Go care call, care text two or three people in your downline. Go check on those ER orders if you have anyone processing tonight, and just see see what happens. So have a good night. Thank you guys for joining. Um, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.